Oh, Jagri, it is good to see you. Yes and no. So you know how I told you I wanted to just be in the background of this one? I think we're going to have to switch roles, because you were just messing this up. You killed the wolf pack. You got. You have nothing to say for yourself. I didn't even get to meet them. You just came from the funeral? Oh my fucking god. Oh. All right, you know what, Jagri? Uh, I'm just going to take your place. S stay in this shack. Don't go anywhere, okay? Give me your guns. Ooh, bleach. Fresh off the fresh off the cart. All right, Jagri. Chill back here. Then the game crashed. But I usually edit it out. All right. Hopefully uh Blackthorn won't realize I have a full beard now. <laughs> and I'm not bald. Look, he kn he kn he knows the uh he knows the real deal. Ooh, they even got a sign for the bathroom. You can't wash your hands though. No washing hands here. Courier, come, take a walk with me. The uh, basement's open. Oh. Wait, where are we going? Oh no. Am I gonna get shot? Look, I'm the real courier. Uh, there's multiple, all right? I think it's time I show you the real reason why we have been fighting and freezing our asses off in this godforsaken wasteland. The reason why my men continue to suffer and die here. I'm sure you've learned by now that we're not working for the NCR. Correct. We are a splinter group who have removed ourselves from Kimball and his narrow-minded conquest to expand the NCR's territorial grasp. We're not against the new California Republic. I believe the NCR to be the best hope to have come out of this post-apocalyptic world. But I blame Kimball for what he has done to it. He turned the NCR into a warmongering nation that no longer cares for its own people. He is willing to sacrifice whatever and whoever in order to satisfy his grandiose vision for the NCR. <sighs> My boys, they've been through a lot. Kimball forced them to fight during the Brotherhood of Steel War. Most of them were young kids with little to no combat experience. But to Kimball, they were just conscripts to be used as cannon fodder. However, they still fought hard and bravely, only to die for a cause not of their own. I promised those boys, those men, their freedom. Hmm. Curious, uh... What exactly he's gonna show me? Am I gonna have to fight head crabs? Oh. Once we finally crushed the Brotherhood at Helios 1, I thought it was finally over. We had won the war at a heavy price. Half of my battalion was wiped out in the assault. All good kids. I remember each and every one who died under my command. The lives I couldn't save. The only peace of mind I had was that the rest would be sent home, where they'd be free from any more war, where they could hopefully live the rest of their lives in peace. Or so I thought. Only a few months after taking Helios, the Legion were making a push for Hoover Dam shortly after wiping out the NCR's most eastward stronghold, Fort Aradash. Suddenly, I saw it happening all over again. More kids being sent to their deaths. More families being torn apart and forced to serve as conscripted cannon fodder. More soldiers left forever scarred and broken by the atrocities of war. What isn't good for? But war is sometimes necessary if you want peace. War is truly an awful experience for those who are forced to fight in it. Um, yeah. That's something I wish those who wage war would understand. Kimball was, of course, 
determined to hold Hoover Dam at all cost. He ordered my men and I to reinforce the dam. I had two choices. Lead my men into another bloody war, only to satisfy Kimball's vision, or leave the NCR and be labeled as a deserter. I chose the latter. I chose the elevator. I'm sorry. I can't blame you. How could you do such a thing? You left the NCR severely weakened against the Legion. Yeah. I'm glad you understand. It was not an easy decision. I had to leave much of what I believed in behind. Jesus. It's gonna be a... Uh, I wanna guess... Launch deck. Missiles? Try some with missiles. Those who followed me only did so because they believed in me. I did not force anyone to come to the frontier. These men and women look up to me as their leader, and I will not fail them. It is my duty to one day bring these people back to the Republic and set things right. So ultimately you aim to start a revolution within the NCR. A peaceful revolution without any bloodshed. We only aim to remove that warmonger, Kimball, from power so the NCR can finally get back to focusing on the welfare of its own citizens. How do you suppose you're gonna do that, you crazy bastard? That is what I am about to show you. You crazy son of a bitch. My god, you did it. Doors. My god. What am I looking at here? Got a nerd. Yeah, I'm talking to you, nerd. Huh. Two more nerds. That's three nerds. My god. In our you see before Whoa. you, Whoa. we call the Liberator. What? Oh, that's amazing. It's an aircraft carrier. If you, if you couldn't tell. An awe-inspiring relic of the old world. My God. It appears to have been some kind of prototype airship that was left unfinished beneath the airport. With this fully restored, it would certainly turn the tide for us in our conflict with both the Legion and Kimball's NCR. However, in its current state, it okay. can't even get airlifted. Uh -oh. It's essentially a massive paperweight while in this hangar. The music helps. Music, really. This is where your help is needed, Courier. How could I possibly help? I'm a Jameson. idiot. As I said before, you're a legend who can bring change. Change! Whether you help us find what we need, or just help us last long enough in this conflict so that the Liberator can be brought to fruition, will justify everything we have sacrificed up to this point. I hope you agree with me when I say, I trust that you are the key that will push us forward. You've been liberated. In other words, you have no idea what you're doing. I think I see what you're saying. I figured you would. Follow me. There is still much to discuss. Oh, man. I wonder if we're gonna see that thing, uh, blast in a way. Where are we going? Are we taking the ele elevator down? One of our greatest threats we face in the frontier, apart from the inhospitable weather and landscape, is, of course, the Legion. You may be aware that this isn't the same Legion as seen in the Mojave. They are more or less tribals who have pledged allegiance to Caesar's Legion. They weren't much of a threat when we first arrived, but somehow Caesar learned of our presence here and sent his legate. Marcus Valerius, and Frumentari to spearhead the tribals against us. Oh, great. Alarmingly, the tribals have outnumbered and even outgunned us in a number of ways. Because of their nativity to this region, they have proven to be far more versatile 
and have been gathering resources and territory faster than we can compete with. They continue to encroach on us, even after our recent affair with them, which has left my army crippled. On top of that, I have reasons to suspect that the Legion of Spies within our own ranks. The reason why we suffered such heavy losses during our assault to rescue you was most likely due to a breach in our invasion plans. Yeah, um... The Legion already had their artillery aimed at my fleet before they even reached into enemy territory. God damn it, Chakra. So many of my men slaughtered before their boots could even touch the ground. Furthermore, we have had supplies and weapons go missing from our stockpiles. Most notably, our tank busters. While their use by the Legion and even scavs has become more frequent in recent events, resulting in greater losses of our tanks and vertebrates. If you have any information of a potential breach in our ranks, I must be informed of it. I think you may have a frumentaria named Dolus in your ranks. Yeah, he talked to me. Is that what his name was? Dolus? Dolus? Where have you heard of this? While I was being interrogated by the Legion, a frumentarius Dolus was mentioned in a message to Valerius. Hmm. This seems to confirm my suspicions that Valerius was tipped off just before the assault. Thanks for the info, Now Jagger. we at least know this Dolus is the one we need to look out for. This is invaluable information. Good job, Courier. I currently have Rancor investigating any suspicious activity. He's not just my personal bodyguard, but also my top reconnaissance agent. He's my eyes and ears at the frontier. This reminds me of, uh, like, uh, Stargate. The, uh, OG Stargate. Spoilers. This is exciting. Oh. Lap one! Whoa! What? Is that a racing bot? How you doing, Way? What's going on, man? Hey, what are those, um... Oh, sorry, right. You don't... No, it's me, Jogri. You've met me. Okay. Oh. Hi. Ah, this here is Way, my lead engineer on the Liberator, who you may have already met. Oh, I've met. Yes. Hello, Courier. As much as Blackthorn may think I need your help, I will have this aircraft fully functional in only a matter of time. You'll see. You'll all, all right. see. Calm down, Way, man. I'm just, I'm just here with the president. God. Anything I can do to help? Well, since you're asking, I could use 12 duct tape, 11 pilot <laughs> lights, 10 leaf blowers, Nine leather belts, uh, eight milk bottles, seven scrap metal, six garden gnomes. No way. Five golden gecko eggs, four cherry bombs, three, three fission, fission batteries, batteries two, two teddy, teddy bears, bears, and, and a, a uh, Brahmin, Brahmin in a, a talking, talking tree. Tree. Tell me about the Liberator. It's an aircraft carrier that flies. What more is there to say about it? It's just like all the other pre-war monstrosities. It explodes well. It'll be a miracle if it actually flies, but luckily for us, I'm that miracle worker. How'd you come to work for Blackthorn? Blackthorn came to me after his troopers stumbled across my robot army I had been constructing. Nice. Robot army. Why, yes! Ever since I could wield a soldering iron at the ripe old age of two, I have been reconstructing old electronics back into working order. I guess you could call me a prodigy. <laughs> My robot army was all I really needed in life. Until Blackthorn offered me to come work on the Liberator, an opportunity and challenge I could not pass on. So here I am, using my robots to rebuild this war machine. Oh, okay. I have to go now. <laughs> Sorry, Way. You see what we have all been working for. I hope you understand how important it is that we reach our goal in time. 
God forbid any of this technology ever falls into the wrong hands. How do you plan to use the Liberator? Once the Liberator is fully restored, it can be used as a mobile command center and troop transport. With the amount of firepower it packs, it could probably wipe out an entire citadel. We will use it to restore order and peace in both the Frontier and Mojave. Then, we will force Kimball into resignation. Hey man, let me take care of the Mojave. How did Rancor become your top reconnaissance agent? He was originally a member of the first recon unit back in the NCR. Rancor and his unit were the first to breach Helios-1 during our battle with the Brotherhood and managed to sabotage much of their defenses. It was his cunning tactics during that battle that greatly reduced the amount of casualties we suffered. And just like the rest of the men here, he believes in ridding the NCR of their corruption. I trust him with my life. Where do I begin? Ideally, I plan to put your skills of exploration to good use and have you scavenge any remote locations that may contain the components needed to complete the Liberator. Alright. Oh! Blackthorn. Sir. Guy. Whoa! Take it slowly. Oh, man. Breathe. Now, what is so important that you ran all the way down here? I just got word of a possible enemy attack on the airport. Are you sure of this? Yes, sir. Reports are coming in from all over of a large group of scav vehicles heading towards the airport as we speak. Dude, you, you, you need uh, headphones. All right. We'll handle this back at the airport terminal. And Tuner, next time remember to use the intercom. Yes, sir. Sorry, sir. Oh. All right, go to the airport terminal now. Stay and explore. All right. Um. All right, let's go. According to these projections, the scavs have been moving closer and closer towards the airport and without hesitation, it appears. It won't be long before they reach our walls. How many would you say there are? At least a couple dozen retrofitted vehicles. That's a massive mechanized unit. Why would they suicidally come at us like this? They must think we are still weak from the recent battle with the Legion and are attempting to finish us off. But we'll let them know we're not finished here just yet. Damn right. What's the plan, sir? Send a column of tanks to intercept and ambush them. We'll wipe them out before they reach the airport. Yes, sir. I'll gather the men. Sergeant Johnson, alert the rest of the men. The base is to be on full alert. Yes, sir. Courier, I'll need your assistance on this. You'll go with the tank crew to intercept the scavs. I've never driven a tank before. I get to drive a tank. I appreciate the enthusiasm. However, you won't need to drive it. All right. Maybe afterwards we'll teach you how to drive one. Hell. If you wipe out these scavs, I'll give you your own personal tank. Oh, there we go. Go speak to Watchman in the maintenance hangar. He'll give you the rundown. And make haste. Haste. Away. Oh, I'm over encumbered. No, no, I'm fine. Man, I guess I did lose that random dude who's gonna stick with me. Hey, caboose. Nothing. Okay, take yeah, care. Door. Oh, nice. Hey. Hey, wait. Before you start touching stuff. Watchman. I'm, uh, the courier. Reporting. Good, you're here. We can set off now if you're ready. Uh, I was trying not to do that for you. Uh, what'll I be doing exactly? You'll aim and fire the cannon on the tank. It won't be too difficult to do. I'll show you once we get rolling. Alright, let's go. Alright then, let's get this show on the road! Tank time! It's a bit cramped in here, but it beats being on foot. This armor can protect us from any small arms fire as well as the cold. We mostly just need to be on the lookout for any tank weapons it and landmines. Comfy. I've also heard rumors that the scavs are retrofitting their vehicles with explosives and suicidally ramming them into our tanks. That's not good. So watch out for any vehicles with a large bomb strapped to it. Don't want them to get too close before they go boom. By the way, this is our driver, Matty. Hey, Matty. Salute. He'll handle Maddie. this tank like it's his steed. I'll be manning the machine gun and loading the cannon. You just need to aim and fire that cannon. That sound like something you can handle? Good. Take this machine gun. You'll be needing it. Now open that hatch and take a look around your surroundings. 
Oh, that's great. <laughs> it's Mr. Manny, please. Tank controls. Fire. Space. Y. Okay. Much easier to see from up there, yeah? A little bit. Take a few practice shots at those vehicles across the river. Get a good feel. Whoa! Oh, oh my god, I'm sorry. To aim to get the proper distance with your shot. All right, there we go. This is awesome. Whoa, that went way too far. I don't know where that went. All right, we got some dudes. Hanging out. Hopefully, you've got the hang of it by now. What's up, dude? We're coming up onto our target. Hold it there. I think I see movement up ahead. Sweet Jesus. You see what I see, courier? Um. Take a look through your scope. Oh, look at the nuke! Well, look at the little nuke! Oh my God! <laughs> oh, it's mad. It's mad Max. <laughs> oh yes. If anyone, I wonder if anyone is reading this. We need to cut them off. Oh yes, yes we do. Where are they? Where are they? Where are they? Oh. Tank friends. Wait for them to come to us. Don't fire until they're in range. All right, tell me. Fire. Oh. <laughs> Fine, is Maddie okay? Oh, fuck. No, we lost Maddie. Maddie. Oh, damn it, Maddie. No. Thanks to Sable. Oh. Oh, like a herd of goddamn Brahmin here. Courier, the turret should still be operational. Use it to hold us off while I get the tank moving again. Fine. Oh shit. Oh my god. Here we go. Now we got. Now I'm take, taking names. Oh my. Yeah, Al was bragging about not dying, and then he uh, started to die. Oh my god. Not now. Not now. <laughs> no. Oh. Uh... Oh. Come on, come on, come on. Is that it? Is that it? Are we clear? Oh! <laughs> the tank's moving again. But we're down a man. You're gonna need to take over for the driving. You've been doing great so far. I'm sure you can handle it. I'm sorry, Patty. 
All right, right click. There's still a few rebels. Whoa! Left. We should finish them off before they have a chance to regroup. Keep up with the other tank. It's the only two left. All right, who are we finishing off? Oh, there we are. No. <laughs> Whoa. Welcome to Valhalla. It's nice being here. I'm gonna run you over. Oh my gosh. <laughs> oh. oh my god, hit this guy. Jesus. Got him. When sitting still, repairs will automatically be made. Alright, awesome. Oh my goodness. I'm kind of curious if my aim is so bad in the tank. I don't know if it's supposed to be like that. Because I do have a mod <laughs> that makes it so enemies can't really aim that well. I'm wondering if the tank is using some sort of, like, NPC aiming. Also, where did my, uh... I've completely lost my tanks that I was with. Oh. Oh, crap. Scabbers. It's gonna be brutally destroying you. Nope. You lose. Get your ass in gear. And let's get moving. Oh my god. Oh, there's two of them. Oh, you fool. You foolish fool. of the century. All right. Get out of my way. Roll over their corpses. Yeah, there we go. Yeah, there we go. Yeah, there we go. Get on the ground. Oh boy. Wait. You're so bad at shooting. Oh, you fool. You idiot. Oh god. They got trapped on the gate. My chance. Alright. Just 
Riding over the corpses. Ugh. Ugh, right into the park of death. Oh god. Please keep them off of us. I mean, I know. Oh, here we go. That's perfect. Uh, where are we going? Whoa! What the hell was that? This, no, I thought someone was hitting me with baseball bats. God. Oh no. Please, I need to stand still somewhere for a few seconds. Oh, this isn't good. Alright, we got this. We can do this. The crier! There we go. Fixer up. Oh, we got some survivors. Somebody wants to die. Where are you going? All right, I'm not driving anymore. They're taking me. They're taking me for a ride. Whoa! Hold your ground. It's time we finished it. Oh, oh my god. We've angered Jesus. Oh, too close. I shouldn't have switched with Jogri. Oh, the Avengers. Still alive. Yeah. I don't know what the fuck just happened, but we need to get the hell out of here. I already called in an evac. Thank, thank you. They should be here shortly. Just hang in there. Did, did, you, did you see it? See what? That blinding light that wiped everything out? How the hell could I miss it? Well, yeah, but the vertebrate it had rocket boosters. Uh, you must have banged your head against something. You should conserve your energy. Help will be here soon. I don't want help as a rocket vertebrate. Oh. I see. Yeah. This is certainly unprecedented. Yeah, I know, dude. If what you're saying about the beam of light is true. It's. If what you're saying about the beam of light is true, then I fear this may have been the work of something I'd only thought was a myth. The Archimedes II death ray. Jesus is back. Oh. A, a, a death ray? Yes. We only found out about this death ray after seizing Helios I from the Brotherhood. Perhaps it was the reason they held out for so long. At best, the reports they gave seemed senseless, but I see now that they were completely accurate. Who could have access to such a powerful weapon? Hmm. It seems beyond the means of the Brotherhood, and of all the enemies we have been up against. Only the Enclave has had access to the kind of technology you're describing. But what are they doing in the frontier? The last reports we had pegged them fleeing eastward in massive numbers. There has been no organized resistance in the Republic for decades. Whatever their reason, they pose an unprecedented threat to our operations here. If they want to, they could wipe us out in the blink of an eye. How can we go up against a threat like this? We need to tread lightly, Courier. You said you saw where that vertebrate of theirs was headed. Well... Maybe we could track it down and find out what they're up to. Go speak to Officer Parks. He may be able to provide some assistance. I've already assigned him the task of gathering any information on the new threat. But be careful, we cannot afford any missteps. One more thing before you go. As promised, I've provided you your own personal tank for taking care of those scaffs. Oh, nice. You'll find it waiting for you outside the maintenance hangar. Take good care of it. I won't be able to provide you with another. Awesome. Hell yeah. My very own tank, that's right, guess what? I don't have much time for chit-chat. Make it quick. Hmm. Okay, bye. Good. 
<laughs> All right. Hey. Hey, how are you stuck on the chair? There you are. Are you still following me? Hi. Hey, how you doing, man? You can, you, you can come in? You coming, man? Bye. Hi. Yo, Lieutenant, come on. Okay. Follow me. All right. Lead the way, sir. I mean, courier. Yes, I'll follow you. All right. He doesn't notice. Bye. All right. There we go. All right, cool. Yeah, I think he abandoned us when we went in that random lady's house. Investigate the area, investigate the distress call. Um, what is... Yeah, everything else is fairly far away. I don't really want to do any network stuff at the moment. But this is uh, kind of close, so... Uh... Oh, we might lose him, though. You know what? We c I could... Uh, I, sh I should not be walking any place. This guy's gonna get murdered, though. Alright, where did he say? He said, uh... Where the tanks go to sing in the morning. Alright, I did also install a damage modifier. So I have, uh... Two times... <laughs> two times damage modifier. Wow, welcome to the creepiest... Okay, they're pretty certain. There we go. Hey, look at that. You like H-bombs, bro? Yo, man, we can play dice. Ah, oh, someone glued him to the tables. Bullcrap. <gasps> oh, blood red. Pinball to pinball. Ooh, a scarf. All right. Whoa! Whoa! <laughs> what? Oh, that's amazing. Yeah, I, I was watching this Al Chesbreach um, playthrough of the of Frost, and then he started doing laundry. There's a real, a real uh, eye opener. You can do anything. All right, let's get out of here. Enough, enough fun. All right, where did he say our tank is gonna be? Oh, I wish. Hi. Hey, Lieutenant, you could stay here. Um. I'll, I'll get you back when we're doing some more NCRs. I mean, this isn't... Yeah, we'll, we'll get you. Okay. God. Bye. Farewell, Henry. We shall see you. He's like, he's like my name's not Henry, goddammit. And we do have an ammo counter now, so... Can't be shooting willy-nilly. Wait, do I have a flamethrower? Oh my god, I do. All right. I see something. All right, I want to get out just to get a... This is a new creature, it looks like. Are those prawn? Goddamn prawn. Well, strange creature. Might as well start blowing them to hell. Oh, God. You need to get out of here, sir. There's creatures of, of other worlds above. There we go. Getting closer. Damn aliens. Yeah. Didn't think I'd have a tank, did you? Oh, I'm shooting your mud at me. I'll shoot something in your face. <laughs> These poor aliens. <laughs> oh, I don't think they're even damaging me. Oh god, these poor creatures. Oh. I'm sorry. The NCR made me do it. Man, there's a lot of you. 
lot of you that want to die. It's too close. There we go. Not today, you freak. Man, how many? There really are, like, all over me. Holy crap. Prepare for your deaths, creatures. Oh, God. Oh, 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 no. Oh, boy. There we go. <laughs> oh, that's amazing. All right, let's get repair up a bit. Is this Halo? Whoa! Power cord. It appears to be some kind of power cord that can be removed from the pod. Yeah! Hey! <laughs> Oh, what the hell is going on? Oh, what? Oh my god, it is Halo. Oh, <laughs> Jesus Christ. Get the tank. Oh, where are you, you damn space bastard? Eat shit, spaceman. That's what I think of your... Space armor. ETs. Got a ticket home. Bring the power cord away. Yeah, that's right. Don't you come back, you bastards. Taking care of business. I'm taking care of my tank. I don't know if it's mine, but hey, that's fine. Everything's okay. Scrap metals required to repair this vehicle. Well, howdy doody. Looks like I'm going to be uh, looking for scrap metal for the rest of my life. Burger in a tin. Cheese in a block. Oh, it's some kind of a, some kind of a weird, weird hedgehog dog or something. Hey, hedgehog dogs. What you doing? You won't go to hitch? Okay. All right. All right. Back off. Back off. Back off. Get out of here. Get out of here. Bad. Oh God. Oh, jeez. <laughs> no. Oh. Oh no. Oh, are we clear? Oh, God. Hey, both Bullhorn. Bullthorn. God, look at that face. Me, me. There we go. That's what I'm talking about. All right. It's the easy way in. Uh, I guess I'm gonna just plow. Excuse me. Excuse me, I don't mean to. I know you're all still, uh, mourning. Just gonna be coming through real quick. Whoa, is that a car? Is that just someone's car? Don't run it over. Road Rampager, what? The Frontier Transportation System. Oh my god, to refuel your vehicle, open trunk or put marker on it. Jerry cans, that's why I had so many jerry cans. They're not for throwing and blowing up, you idiot. <laughs> oh, this is awesome. Oh, this is so cool. Holy sh... holy. Holy, holy. Hey, good news, Way. There's a friggin' sports car out here. <laughs> it's awesome.
Gotta go up the space elevator again. Alright. Tank commander breach. Is there no... Down elevator? Oh, God. Hey, dude. One, five... Why are you... Seven, eight? Oh, what is it now? You know we have calculators, right? Um, I found this glowing tube from one of the pods that fell from the sky. Also, there were, like, creatures, and one of them had a laser gun. Full armor, too. Let me see that. It appears to be a plasma fusion power core. Not exactly alien technology, but there is still great use for these. You didn't happen to find any more? No, but I was attacked by this high-tech android that fell from the sky. Android? What did it look like? What weapons was it armed with? Did you manage to recover anything from its body? I, there was a... I had my tank. I barely made it out of there alive. Its body disintegrated before I could recover anything from it. Damn. I wish I could have seen it for myself. Oh well. I guess I'll just have to take your word that high-tech androids are falling from the sky attacking people. Yep. Here. Compensation for your work. If you come across any more high-tech, be sure to bring it to me first. Accepted. Hey! Oh! Are you are you part of the network? I didn't know that. You're part of the network. I didn't know that. You're part of the network. Oh, okay, I got you. You sneaky baby. Can I, uh, yeah, can I go in here yet? Probably not. Can't just waltz in. Testing out the toilets. Oh, look at this. Look at these. Look at these sons of bitches. Oh, yeah. 